This is the Pocket Monster Manual. I'm Willie Shambler, here with Andy. It's time for babies! Fuck, <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, Shiny! <laughs> Hello? And Specs. This is the reason why you use protection. <laughs> We're talking about Pichu. I like Ukulele Pichu in, it's in Ranger, Pokemon Ranger 2. Ukulele Pichu. Oh, yeah! Ukulele. So was... fucking cute. I didn't know about that. This is like special attack. <laughs> He's got it on his back. Yeah, he carries a little ukulele around. It's the most adorable thing. I've come around on Pichu lately. I like Pichu. That's just because he's good in Smash Bros. Ultimate MD. You can't fool yeah. me. That's not why. But, uh, okay, keep talking out your ass. Anyway, I love Spiky-Eared Pichu, for example, and that's been around for ten years, and I can't he... believe you've never been able to do anything with it. Well, you've been able to have it on your team. Is that not No, enough? you can't. They can't p- transfer it out of Gen 4. Oh, <laughs> uh, can you not? No, not Spiky-Eared. That's so funny. Why not? Good question. <laughs> I guess they just didn't make a sprite for it in the other game. Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh my god. What Genius. is special about the spiky-eared Pichu? It looks cute. Oh, there's some moves that it gets that Pikachu line doesn't usually get, but whatever. There's, a, there's nothing really special about not-eared Pichu, but it's adorable. Well, the gimmick of Pichu is that it's bad at controlling its own electric powers, unlike you know, an adult, it's a, it has mastered it. But mm-hmm. here, like in Smash, it takes damage and... I actually don't know <laughs> if it expresses itself in the games. Um, it isn't really in the games. It might sometimes in the anime. Yo, the Pichu Brothers, though? Huh? The Pichu oh. Brothers? Did you ever play, uh, like, Pokemon Channel or watch the third movie? I don't even know what channel is. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, there were these two little Pichus that had their own short in the third movie before, the like, the movie started. Yeah, I remember. Oh, actually, I might remember. Yeah, yeah the run around the city. It's really weird to me that baby forms can exist in, like... So, like, here's the thing. In Gen 1, I understand that you can't breed and everything but like how do they not know pichu existed kanto is the first game we play and therefore it's the first game in the pokemon timeline and therefore pokemon research is in its early days during that game therefore nobody has been able to find the nests of the pokemon that have baby pokemon it's like pigeons have you ever seen a baby pigeon yes have you actually In yeah, the have. wild. In the wild. Yeah. yeah, I have. Okay, well, you're very lucky. because It's most really weird haven't. because it literally just looks like a pigeon except tiny, so I thought I was giant for a second, <laughs> then I realized it's actually a baby. You thought you were giant! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, to use the pigeon analogy, pigeons hide their nests really well, so you don't often see baby pigeons. If it's the same for these Pokemon that have baby Pokemon as their pre-evolution forms, then it just was because Oak hadn't actually found the baby versions of these Pokemon yet because he hadn't gone poking around in Pokemon nests. But the thing with that is that they only evolve when they have a high enough friendship level with a trainer. So like... Fucked up if true. When you breed, you get a Pichu. You cannot get a Pikachu. That's the only way they evolve in captivity. Yeah, if they're friendly enough with their friends in the wild, then they might level up and evolve. But animals don't have friends. You got friends. Uh...